you for joining me today for the message from the mail. My prayer is that today is a better day throughout our nation. We are living through truly troublesome and troublesome times. The coronavirus and the civil unrest that has gripped our nation are unexpected burdens weighing wearily on our shoulders. Our hearts are heavy and we pray for an end to the sickness, the violence, and the injustices that are threatening the foundation of our communities and our country. But let me say that I'm proud of our community here in Enterprise. I'm proud and thankful beyond measures that we have not experienced the level of unrest that we have seen in other parts of our country in the wake of George Floyd's horrible death in Minneapolis. We have had peaceful protests in response to the terrible tragedy. A march from the city hall to the county courthouse is planned for Sunday, and I'm confident that we have no reason for any type of concerns. I've been working with the protest organization and the organizers and our enterprise police department to see that the voices of our citizens can be heard without bringing trouble to our cities. My belief is that we can be a model of unity. We understand that together we stand and divide and we fall. Our community is known as one that brings people together and work out issues together. Let us never forget that we are one and that we stand together for justice. I stand together to support our police department and our officers who put their lives on the line every day to keep our community safe. I'm proud of our police department. They have worked hard through the years to establish a good relationship with all the residents and we should never forget that they are our protectors. Our first line of defense against those who would harm us. Yes, it's an imperfect world. And there are imperfect, immoral people who will test our faith in humanity. But I say to you, that the best we can do would not always present the bad that others do. However, as individuals, we as a community must remain steadfast in our faith and strength of heart. We cannot let the bad and the wrong corrupt our own sense of right. Just do what's right. That's all we have to do. Treat others with respect and love obey laws, and whatever your profession is, whatever your social enacted economic status, you can be the people of principle. People who treat others with dignity, who love their neighbors and cherish every day to obey the laws and respect each other's property, who work to make their families better and their community. What a wonderful world it would be. Let that movement grip the nation and let it start right here in Enterprise. To give you the latest information on the corona situation here in Coffee County, the Alabama Department of Public Health reports that there are 239 cases uh, in our community. About 55 of those cases are active right now while the others have recovered or are beyond the quarantine period. Thankfully, we have only one confirmed death. It appears that more and more people are returning to more normal activities. But I must remind you that we are still at risk by the potentially deadly coronavirus. Please continue to wear your mask and practice the six foot distancing protocol and other sanitation measures. Our local businesses are doing a good job trying to follow safer standards while others are open for business. Please get out and shop, but remember to help our businesses keep you safe.
With all of the uncertainty and sadness surrounding us the past week and months, I want you to know that good things are still going on in our community. One of the good things was announced yesterday in the Enterprise Industrial Development Board meeting. I'm extremely happy to tell you that we have been awarded a $900,000 grant through the Growing Alabama Program, which is administered by the State Secretary of Commerce, Greg Canfield, in the Alabama Department of Commerce. This grant will be used for water and sewage upgrades on 240 acres of central industrial property adjacent to the Yancey Parker Industrial Park off Dozier Road. Our thanks go to our Secretary Canfield, the Alabama Renewal Commission, and others who partnered with Enterprise to make this grant happen. This grant shows the pro-growth and attitude of our city and state and illustrates that when business and government partner together, the city of Enterprise and our businesses can truly benefit. In addition to sewer and water lines, the grant funds can be used for other infrastructure improvements as well. I want to thank the ID Board and the Wiregrass Economic Development Executive Director Jonathan Tullis, who did most of the legal work and paperwork to apply for this grant in September of last year. We are very thankful for all that was done to bring that grant to us. Before I close for this week, let me remind you one more time to complete your 2020 census if you have not done so. This is very important. If you need help, the city will be setting up census assistance stations at several locations over the next few weeks. We will be at the Enterprise Housing Authority at Nail Court next Wednesday, June 10th, at Nan Circle, Cottonville Road, June 11th from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. each afternoon. If you do not have a computer or access, if you don't understand how to fill out the registration, please stop by these locations and get help. We need to count every person in our city in order to be sure that we can get the federal and state help to pave streets, to fund educational programs, and provide for other facilities and programs that improve our quality of life. Again, thank you for tuning in, and I do hope that this video blog is helpful and informative. We'll see you next week. God bless.